Hello, this video is to show my latest Raspberry Pi Halloween project, an RGB matrix LED pumpkin animation. This is based around a Raspberry Pi Zero controlling an RGB matrix LED display with 64 by 32 pixels. The display is now a permanent fixture on the outside of my house. I've already used it to display thank you messages to the NHS during the COVID-19 lockdown to announce birthdays and other special occasions. I've already created other videos that have shown how I created the hardware side, including how to make it waterproof for use outdoors. To make this ready for Halloween, I created my own 3D printed case add-on to mount the PIR motion sensor. This was designed in FreeCAD and then 3D printed. I then spent a lot of time writing the code that makes it work. Whilst there are already libraries that you can use to send specific types of messages to the display, I didn't have one that would allow me to send images, or that could be used to display my own 2D custom animations. I've created my own server program that can display static images and animations. This was programmed in the C programming language as it meant it could run fast with minimal resources. I then created a separate program in Python which handles date and time functions and the PIR sensor. The reason for using Python was to take advantage of its easy to use string handling and easy to read the PIR motion sensor using GPIO0. The code runs less often, so whilst the performance of Python means it isn't as quick as if it was in C, it doesn't cause any issues. I created a simple animation where a nice happy Halloween pumpkin jack-o'-lantern moves around the screen in a rather friendly way. Then when someone walks up the driveway, perhaps trick-or-treaters hoping for some chocolate, the PIR motion sensor sees them come in and switches to a more sinister looking evil pumpkin with jagged mouth and evil looking eyes. The video was created using the Blender 2D animation techniques, which are then exported as PNG image files. Here is the animation in action. Unfortunately, the video footage for this just doesn't do it justice. This looks much better outside in the dark than my camera could capture. This is work in progress. So far the code is still not complete, has few known issues that I need to iron out, but it's making good progress. I expect it to be working properly for the Halloween celebrations this weekend. I hope you like this project. This is one of several different Raspberry Pi and electronics projects I've made. You may have seen my haunted house on the Raspberry Pi website or in the Magpie magazine. For more details of all my Halloween projects, see my website www.penguintutor.com slash Halloween. I don't just do Halloween projects. I've now created nearly 100 videos showing different Raspberry Pi, Arduino, electronics or other maker related topics. Please subscribe to my channel to find out more. I hope you have a spooky Halloween.